Rocky D Rays. Coming up with a new web series on DY graphs. In this video, I'll be giving a brief introduction as to what DY graphs is, and I'll make you work on a simple program yourself. So I'll be using JS Fiddle for this, an inter interface that where you can tweak HTML, CSS, as well as JavaScript code, and check out the results right away. As you can see, you can write here your HTML code, CSS over here, JavaScript here, and the results will appear over here. So, without any further ado, uh, let's start off the uh, Y graphs. So, the first thing I would like to teach you is basic usage. Here, this is the statistics of a city called Bangalore in India. And this is the statistics of fatal and non-fatal cases uh, killed uh, in the year from the year 2006 to 16 in the city of Bangalore. Of course, it is called Bengaluru right now. Anyways, so what I'll be using is the numbers provided over here in the fatal column. So to do that, first we need to link. Uh, we need to give a script of dy graphs we need to connect this html with a script so directly you can go to the download option over here and you can see a cdn link provided here so just directly copy that go to your fiddle and paste it in the html window don't worry about the html or head tags you don't have to write them down in fiddle and go down and give a body and provide a div with an ID of let us say dy graph 1 alright ok so we are done with the HTML part further in the JavaScript tab type the following let's instantiate a new object let's call it graph new dy graph make sure that the D is capital document get element by ID. Now, whatever you have called your div element, we give the same name over here. Okay, and then this is where you type in the data that makes the chart. So start off with the x and y axis. Let us say I want to put the dates in the x axis. So I'll type here and uh, fatalities black backslash n, and then you give a plus, and let's start filling it up. So in the year 2006, we have 880 fatalities. So 2006, give it in the date format. So let us say 2006-01-01, though it is not January uh, first, so I'm sure it is pretty fine. Okay, so as I told you, we have 880 over here. And then give a backslash in. And again, repeat the process. So 2007-01-01. Then we have 957 over here. Again, backs, backslash n. So, uh, to test it out, just type run over here. So, as you can see, there has been one, uh, there is just one uh, graph over here. It is, of course, linear because we have provided only two values. Now, feed in the rest of the data in the similar way. I'll do it uh, quickly over here. Okay, all right, guys. So you can see that I filled it from 2016 to 2015. Let's run it. All right, I, as you can see, we have a wonderful graph showing us that there has been significant decrease uh, over here in 2009, but 
of course again it shot back up but there has been a steady decline so this is how you can generate a chart easy peasy you can just start it off with just your csv values in this way as you can see there is no code much you just have to give a script element over here and then provide a division element js script code all you have to write is uh, an object filled with two values all right and also don't do not forget to provide a semicolon over here so that you can generate other charts or you can continue your code so this is how we use dy graphs in our applications online it's simple it's super fast as you can see and just remember to provide the cdn with, uh, address so that you won't go wrong anywhere all right give some love by sharing and liking my video thanks a lot guys bye bye